This, ladies and gentlemen, if you're familiar with Moldavite, is actually very similar. This is an Indochinite, deriving from the old French colonial term Indochina, which on a modern eardrum might be mildly insensitive because that is again a French colonial term that collectivised the region of Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam, and to a lesser extent Thailand, which again is mildly insensitive on a modern eardrum, again because it collectivises areas which actually have very diverse cultural heritages and histories that are very much diverse from one another. However, this is a tectite. Now, a tectite, contrary to how it's often marketed, is not, not, not a fragment of a meteorite. I hear this daily. What a tectite is, in fact, is a byproduct of heat generated by a meteorite or asteroid that has made contact with the Earth's continental crust, which is largely comprised of silica which has a melting point of about 1700 degrees, so if you apply enough heat, it will melt. After it's melted, it will solidify into this quite amorphous, unusual-looking mineraloid, which there's a fairly convincing argument for is actually quite squat ugly, but it is nonetheless very interesting. As I vaguely alluded to earlier, Indochinites primarily consist of silica, similar to terrestrial glass but they often contain unique elements and ratios that actually distinguish them from other tectites. So analysing their composition actually provides very valuable insights into their impact event, which for context, although this is subject to some debate, is believed to have been sometime around 800,000 years ago. If we compare that to Moldavite, which is more expensive by orders of magnitude, that was about 14.7 million years ago. If we compare that again to Libyan desert glass, another variety of tectite, which is highly marketed but still not as expensive as Moldavite for some reason, that impact was 29 million years ago. What do we learn from this? Probably that the price of tectites is actually pulled directly out of somebody's backside because it clearly has nothing to do with the age of the impact, which you would assume would be the most interesting variable, but hey, that's minerals for you. <laughs>